news with special reports throughout. And the president of the United States is our president, and we will support him in whatever steps he deems necessary to take, uh, both in the uh, retaliation that will be called for, uh, and also in the very important work of rebuilding uh, New York and the Pentagon. Uh, we can't let uh, these evil acts in any way uh, deter us from, you know, making it clear that the United States is resolute and we are going to support the president. And are you getting any new information from law enforcement out of New York about just the extent of the loss in New York? John, I don't think we even have an inkling of the devastation. Uh, we've not really had the kind of coverage at ground zero that would show what I'm hearing. Uh, you know, rubble sometimes up to your waist. Our firemen and police officers wading through dangerous uh, circumstances trying to see if there are any survivors. Uh, the numbers of people who are injured and who we fear are casualties uh, I think will be uh, terrible once they are fully uh, understood. Uh, I'm very proud of New York City. Uh, the mayor, the police, the fire, um, all, all the people uh, working in the emergency front lines have done a superb job. Um, but, you know, New York is the global city. It's the symbol of American leadership. And, you know, these terrorists made a direct hit on who we are as a people. And New York has responded, and the national government has to stand behind us. And, Senator, you had told us earlier that you had, had spoken at length with the former president, your husband. Um, what is uh, Mr. Clinton saying? Well, he's outraged and, you know, as he knows how important it is to speak with one voice on behalf of our country. Uh, this is something that he and I believe strongly, having been on the other end uh, of Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, you know, and, and let me say, too, that uh, our country not only has to retaliate directly against those who perpetrated this attack, but we have to make it very clear uh, that we cannot uh, permit any uh, state, any government, any institution or individual uh, to pursue terrorist aims that are directed at the United States or any country uh, with impunity. So I'm hoping that this is the kind of uh, dramatic, uh, terrible, uh, catastrophe that unites the entire civilized world uh, so that it's not just an attack on the United States, it's an attack on everyone who cares about, you know, freedom and, and dignity and justice and, and humanity. Now, we're told that the Congress has never been evacuated before, not during the War of 1812, not during the Civil War. This was an extraordinary day. Of course, you are coming back. We had the display of unity on the steps of the Capitol. Uh, but is any business really going to be able to be done here? I mean, we're, we've really we've entered a new phase here, haven't we? I don't think so, John. I think that uh, clearly because of the uncertainty that surrounded uh, first the attacks in New York and then the attack on the Pentagon, it was prudent for uh, these buildings to be evacuated. And I certainly went along with that, as did my staff. I think, though, tomorrow you'll see that uh, you know, the Senate and the House will be back in session. Uh, we will uh, be debating a resolution uh, that really expresses our very strong feelings of outrage uh, about this. And then we're going to be getting down to the hard work of determining what we need to do. Uh, I've, you know, told my colleagues that this is the kind of devastating attack and loss of life that is almost beyond imagination. And, you know, New York is going to need a lot of help. I was pleased that, uh, you know, we asked for an emergency declaration of disaster. I talked with the governor, and uh, he's been extraordinarily involved in all of this. Uh, but we're going to need uh, the federal government, the entire nation, to stand behind New York. Okay, well, Senator Clinton, we thank you very much for joining us. We know you've got a busy, busy time ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you. And Wolf, back to you. Thank you very much, uh, John. Just uh, to remind our viewers, we're standing by. In about uh, 24 minutes or so, President Bush is expected to be in the Oval Office to address the American public on uh, this tragic day in, in U.S. history here in Washington at the Pentagon early this morning. A, a, an American Airlines Flight 777, uh, a Boeing 757 en route from Washington, Dulles Airport uh, to Los Angeles, was diverted after being hijacked and uh, was, uh, was slammed in, crashed in to the Pentagon earlier this morning.